This video is going to cover 25 of the wildest bearded dragon facts you ever heard of. Some you might know, but I promise you don't know them all. So let's dive right in. Avocados and fireflies are toxic to them. A particular steroid found in fireflies has the potential to seriously injure and even kill beardies. Regarding avocados, they contain a lot of oxalic acid, which can make your dragon quite ill in small dosages. So keep the guacamole away from your lizard because large amounts over time can be lethal. They generate venom. Be careful not to worry. It's absolutely safe for individuals. However, the insects that they consume are not unaffected by it. Additionally, calling them a scientifically poisonous lizard to impress your pals is always entertaining. They appreciate leashed walks. The simplest lizard to teach to walk on a leash is a bearded dragon, which may sound absurd. They are much stimulated by it, and the stares you'll get on your walk always make it worthwhile. Incubation temperature can change the sex of bearded dragons. The eggs will develop into females if the temperature is abnormally high, while males are more likely to develop into the eggs if the temperature is extremely low. Additionally, warmer weather is supposed to have an effect on the young's ability to learn, dramatically slowing it down the warmer the temperature. They truly love to swim. In order to boost their buoyancy, bearded dragons have the capacity to inflate themselves with air. Some of them appreciate swimming as a special enrichment treat because not all of them enjoy the deeper water and the majority are happy to just lay in the water and relax. They swim similarly like crocodiles by using their tail as a rudder and swimming it back and forth. The ability to run on two legs. The same mechanism that allows them to sleep upright also allows them to accomplish this. They can sprint faster since their center of gravity is now on their back, but it is harder for them to maintain their front legs on the ground. Their scales can tell you how they feel. Any moment, it's extremely simple to determine how a dragon is feeling. When they're anxious or sad, all their scales will swell, including their beard. Scales on a happy beardy have flattened out and are practically smooth to the touch. They handle each other with a wave. When they see a familiar lizard, beard and dragons wave just like humans do. When in the presence of a larger and more dominant dragon, it might be a show of submission as well as communication that they are aware of one another. Additionally, they have been observed waving towards their owners to show that they are aware of people. Their teeth can grow back. Beardies can regrow their teeth, but they can't seem to get their tails back. It's nothing to worry about because they will periodically lose their front teeth when attempting to catch prey or chew apart food. They have a top speed of 9 miles per hour. Bearded dragons are often mellow, content to lounge around and eat, but they can move surprisingly quick. They can appear and disappear from you in the blink of an eye and then appear again. They can sleep upright standing. The ability to lock their hind legs permits bearded dragons to maintain their upright posture. When forced to sleep between rocks or in crevices, this is a benefit, as they frequently decide to lean up against anything to support themselves. They do the head bob. The head bob is the most well-known among pet owners. Both males and females do this, and it functions as a mating signal just like the spikes do. This behavior is also regarded as an indication of dominance between two males vying for mates or territory. They adore bathing. Bearded dragons are cold-blooded, which means they obtain their body heat from the environment like all reptiles do. They will spend the most of the day like this, which is referred to as basking. And another way they exhibit dominance is by lying on top of one another to absorb more sunlight. Bearded dragon females can give birth twice. The bearded dragon female has the ability to store sperm from the male in order to fertilize herself once more. Because of this, the female can produce two clutches, or sets of eggs, from just one mating. This enables her to produce as many babies as possible while avoiding contact with a possibly aggressive male. They're quite androgynous. Given that there are no obvious differences in appearance, it could be quite challenging to identify the sex of a bearded dragon. Despite the fact that males tend to have larger heads and longer, darker beards, both come in a wide variety of hues and sizes. A hissing noise is made when defending territory. Beardies are notorious for being aggressively territorial, and they will hiss and blow out their beards to show other dragons they mean business when defending their territory. During the colder months, they'll hibernate. The colder months make it more difficult to control body temperature, 
as they do for most cold-blooded creatures. In order to combat this, bearded dragons will stop feeding and occasionally drink water while dozing out for most of the day. They can change the color of their skin. The color of the bearded dragon can also change, albeit it is less obvious than a chameleon's. With darker scales able to absorb more heat and lighter scales able to reflect it, they modify it to take advantage of the varying temperatures. Their name is derived from the beard of scale around the neck. These scales serve as a predator deterrent in addition to a mating display. These scales protrude when they open their mouths. The reason for the beard is that they can change color and turn black when they used as a mating call. Nearly every bearded dragon in captivity in the US and Europe is bred to be a pet. Bearded dragon exports were officially outlawed in Australia in the 1960s, and the country currently has some of the tightest export regulations in the world. The ones who have been bred in captivity as a result become more docile, and as a result, a better and happier pet. They are in fact solitary beings. Despite all the social behaviors that bearded dragons engage in with one another, such as head bobbing and waving, these actions typically only serve to signal submission or mating behavior. For the sake of their mental and emotional health, bearded dragons should never be housed in enclosures with other dragons. They are animals prey. Their eyes are the best indicator of this. The eyes of bearded dragons are on the side of their heads for a wide field of vision. They have to keep an eye out for other predators. However, it's highly endearing for pet owners since it implies that your dragon will concentrate on something by cocking its head and focusing one eye on it. They adore climbing trees. Bearded dragons prefer to spend a lot of time in bushes and trees. They prefer to be higher up and their powerful claws allow them to grasp on objects like rocks, trees, and plants. They don't urinate liquid. Bearded dragon pet owners may now handle their pets without worrying about getting pee on them. Every drop of water must be saved because they are from the desert. They eliminate waste by using a uric acid containing white powder, which typically exits with the rest of the waste. They have color vision. According to recent studies, bearded dragons possess all the rods and cones required to sense color. They are omnivores, thus being able to discern between various fruits and vegetables is crucial to them. This is an evolutionary benefit. This is thought to be the reason why beardies adore carrots, since the brilliant orange color is so alluring. Hope you enjoyed these top facts of bearded dragons. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and share your thoughts down below the video. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.